Hello YouTubers, uh, just a further update. Um, people still seem to be confused about how you would use an ordinary freewheel on a dual threaded rear axle hub. Allow me to explain. When you put the freewheel on the left hand side of the axle hub, it will be necessary for you to rotate the freewheel such that it locks in this direction. As you can see, if you just throw it on normally, it doesn't lock. However, if you simply reverse the way you threaded it on, like this, and now thread on the freewheel. You have to excuse me here, I'm trying to do this with no hands free. Now when I attempt to turn the freewheel, it locks just like you'd expect it to do. It's locking. It's not freewheeling. See? Locking. This is why I said you have to glue it on the axle hub shaft because it wants to unthread the entire freewheel so you have to glue these threads together. If it was put on this way, it threads on normally. However, when the chain goes to drive it from the engine, the electric motor, nothing happens. See? So you have to flip the three wheel over when you thread it on the axle hub, like so. And this will, of course, require that the threads are glued to prevent the freewheel drive. You see, now it's driving. If I hold the center, it's driving. You can hear it locking. Okay, I hope that explains it to everybody. Bye for now.